It's time for Around the Ozarks in 5, brought to you by the Springfield Green County Park Board, Roto-Rooter Plumbing and Drain Service, Blue Current, and Thompson Sales. Here are your hosts, Ethan and Sarah Foreheads. Good Thursday morning to you. We're, uh, we're uh, getting closer to the end of the week. That's how that works. It's been a short week, too, so even better. Even better. Yes. Uh, let's start with some news. Uh, there is a new effort underway to save the Green Bridge in Christian County, just outside Ozark. The one-lane bridge was built back in 1912, originally for horse and buggies. A lot has changed since then. The vehicles have gotten heavier. <laughs> it was deemed unsafe for vehicle traffic back in February of this year. Now Christian County and Ozark are trying to come up with a way to make it part of a trail system for bikers and for walkers. Uh, there is no trail system there yet, so that is going to be up for discussion at a meeting today and uh, kind of in the early stages of that, but there's an effort to save the Green Bridge. Yeah, it's exciting. All right. Did you hear as of yesterday, charges were dropped against pro golfer, I guess the best in the world, you could say, Scotty Scheffler. Uh, interestingly, he said despite his arrest, um, by the way, from a Springfield guy, uh, he has no hard feelings toward the officer who arrested him and highly admires police for their work. Uh, as you've heard, that officer does have a Springfield connection. He grew up here and uh, graduated from Kickapoo High School, then went on to OTC in 96 and 97. Uh, he was in trouble for not turning on his body camera prior to the incident. Uh, he also had a few other cases uh, where he was, you could say, on the other side of the law himself uh, previously. So uh, a case that a lot of local people were then following. You know, it, it's interesting because I listened to, there was some uh, audio from inside the police car after Scheffler was in the police car with another officer and it was their conversation. And I feel like the officer was a little more in the right than I did leading up to that because Scheffler said that he, he didn't stop when he was told to stop because he didn't know it was a cop, even though he's wearing like bright yellow and directing traffic. So he didn't obey the order. And then he kept going and, and did drag the officer for a little bit with his car. Yikes. He, I didn't know that. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. That, I mean, I don't know how, exten how extensive the injuries are. I don't think very extensive. But he, they scraped his knee up because he was dragging the officer. Then he wouldn't get out of the car. Uh, and he said that he was in a hurry because he was late for his tea time. So I feel a little more that the officer was closer to the right, right than yeah. I did um, upon just hearing people talk about it at first, because it sounded like it was a, a cop out of control and, and what are you doing? But, but now, you know, if you don't stop when a cop tells you to stop, uh, even though you were directed that way by another cop, you know, you still obey the rules and I don't know. I can yeah, see I got arrested sides. for that once. I can see both sides. You remember this? Yeah, I remember. This. One cop put me in a spot and then a different cop arrested me for being in that spot. <laughs> Correct. That's what happens when someone else takes over the scene. Um, but I survived to tell about it, so that's exciting. Uh, there is a growing list of stores that say they are planning to cut prices to get more people in the door and spending. We've told you about McDonald's doing this, Wendy's doing this, um, and now you can add Walgreens and Amazon to the list as well as Target. So um, fast food and then also just retail stores Soon going to be cheaper. Apparently, this comes after inflation causing people to spend less and retailers are feeling it. So some retailers and fast food restaurants say they are hoping the cuts will encourage more people to spend more money on fast food again, as well as non-essential items. All right. Inflation. Uh, I think it's interesting. Is uh, maybe a positive there in the short term. I don't know. It's yeah. a weird positive, but uh, here it's a negative. It looks like outdoors men and women will have to pay more to hunt and fish in Missouri. The Department of Conservation cites the rising costs of goods and services for the proposed price increases for uh, permits. The department is accepting public comment on the issue from July 2nd through August 1st, and then we'll decide whether to raise the prices for licenses uh, at a meeting in September. So, uh, price increases would then go into effect the first of next year. So if you have something to say, July 2nd through August 1st, make a good argument. We'll see what happens. Uh, boy, this is something. What a day for uh, some American heroes. More than 80 local veterans took part in this year's very first, the first one of the year, honor flight yesterday. 
It was a whirlwind day. It always is. It started at the Springfield Airport, and from there, the veterans were flown to Washington, D.C. to see in person the memorials that were built in their honor. Many of the veterans going on these flights now are uh, veterans of the Vietnam War. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, day, the day then ended back in Springfield at the airport where family and other folks from the area gathered to give them a hero's welcome. And it's all awesome. It is. It's such a great trip. I got to go on one of these years ago when I was at KY3 covering that story. It was World War II veterans at the time. And uh, just to see what it meant to them to be back among their their brotherhood, uh, people who have experienced war and World War II like they did, uh, they came to life in a way that was super cool. Their family and friends would say, I've never seen them like this. Uh, and they, they uh, just really enjoyed the day. It was a super long day. So everybody's tired at the end of it. Early, yeah. Early but still so much easier for that age group to go in one day rather than to have to stay overnight somewhere. And that's why they do it like that. But the honor flight is a great program. Uh, still doing good work. Yep. It's awesome. Uh, this is fun. Whataburger is coming to Branson. The board of aldermen approved some changes to a plot of land on the east side of Highway 65 on Main Street, right across the street from Chick-fil-A there. This will be the first Whataburger in Branson. Uh, just in the last year, you might recall Whataburger has opened three locations in Springfield and then one each in Republic and Ozark. That's true. Yeah. There you go. Whataburger's all over the place. Yeah. So, yeah, um, I loved Whatabur- what a burger in college for some reason. And I'm sure that it's still great. It doesn't have the same ring for me anymore, though. I've got to be honest. So well, did you get burgers in college? Um, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, it's what good. A burger. Surely yeah. I ordered for its namesake, you know, I would hope so. Uh, I, I hope took so. the kids there a couple of times, a couple of different times, and they they're big fans. It's good. 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 Uh, Heads up, if you drive an older Nissan, uh, you're being urged not to drive it because the Takata airbag inflators could explode in a crash and hurl very dangerous pieces of metal throughout the car. Uh, That urgent warning comes after a person was actually killed by an inflator when it exploded. Yeah. Uh, Nissans in question cover certain 2002 through 2006 Sentras. 2002 through to 2004 uh, Pathfinders, as well as 03 and 04 Infinity QX4s. Uh, if you own one of those, they're pretty serious about it. They say stop yeah. driving it and uh, contact Nissan and yep. they'll get you a fix. Yeah. Sounds like you need one. Uh, Springfield was recently named in Wallet Hub's best places to visit in the summertime. Isn't that cool? Uh, Of course, you know that we have a lot to do, especially in the summertime for the outdoors area. We were ranked number 15 out of 100 destinations. Maybe it is, I don't know, um, the theme parks, the water parks, the aquariums, Big Cedar, all the outdoor fun stuff, lakes. uh, lakes. Um, But what we were specifically ranked the highest for is affordability and weather. Because yeah. vacation's expensive and it is cheaper. Branson is cheaper than, and, and the Ozarks, I guess, than some places. So that's, yeah, yeah. That's great. it is cheaper than some places and it's less humid also than some places. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the truth. <laughs> Not every place. Um, some places. All right. And then finally, we want to tell you, as we have for the past couple of days, don't forget, go to aroundtheozarks.com and you can enter to win tickets to the Rolling Stones concert. They are iconic. So even if you don't love the Rolling Stones, this is history, folks. This is history. Um, Our sister station, 1047thecave.com, 1047thecave.com. And um, you can enter to win those tickets. And we have a Father's Day giveaway also happening at aroundtheozarks.com. So just go to that page and then click on contest and you will see the Father's Day giveaway and then thanks again to 1047thecave.com for the Rolling Stones tickets giveaway. Yeah, there are two pages to go to. Around the Ozarks has one contest that has all of our normal contests, but the Rolling Stones contest specifically is at 1047thecave.com. So yes, uh, visit a couple of sites and get entered to win, and uh, they are really good prizes. They are yeah, really good prizes. No doubt. 
All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us. We hope you have a great Thursday and we hope to see you back here tomorrow morning. Have a good night. See you. Day. It's time for Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather, sponsored by Scooters Coffee and Rescue Towing. Here's your host, meteorologist Abby Dyer. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your Thursday. It is May 30th in the Ozarks, and it's shaping up to be another nice day, a dry afternoon for most across the Ozarks. Much like yesterday, I have that small little chance for an isolated pop-up shower or thunderstorm, but the vast majority of us are going to stay dry in the Ozarks today. As of 5 a.m., we're waking up near 60 degrees. It's comfortable out, and by this afternoon, we will see those temperatures make their way into the upper 70s and low 80s once again. We've got a southeast breeze in the forecast for you today. It could gust to 20 miles an hour, so a bit breezy. If you're heading out to the pools to beat the heat, just know that you might be dealing with a little bit of a wind today, but nothing out of the control. I think you can still head outside. Just know that winds will be gusting up to 20 miles an hour. Temperatures this morning are comfortable as I mentioned. So as you head out the door, all you really need is a pair of sunglasses. There's a tiny little chance for rain today. I'm giving it about a 10% chance. So throw the umbrella in the back of the car just in case you get underneath one of these pop-up showers later on. Really, I think most of the rain will hold off until after dark tonight. And the better chances for rain in my forecast exist as we head into Friday and Saturday. After 6 p.m., though, at least the chance for some showers do develop. And then I think it's overnight tonight that we'll see some of those scattered showers and a few thunderstorms. There's a stationary boundary draped back to the southwest of the Ozark. So southwestern counties probably have a better chance for seeing some of that isolated activity through the course of the day today. Severe thunderstorm activity today. That's going to be going on from eastern portions of Colorado back out through western Oklahoma, Texas Panhandle. That's who's expecting the severe weather today. Thankfully, we don't get in on that in the Ozarks, but I think we have a better chance for rain, non-severe, and thunderstorm activity heading into Friday and Saturday. In fact, by the time we add all these rain chances up, looks like a nice little downpour is going to be possible in the Ozarks. In fact, many locations across the region will pick up on anywhere from a half inch to an inch of additional rainfall. Places that might see some higher totals are going to be uh, back up to the north, places like Nevada, perhaps even uh, even. Joplin seeing some of those higher rainfall totals, perhaps an inch and a half. That's when you add up all the rainfall totals through Saturday morning. So I don't anticipate a big problem with flooding, but some issues could develop in places that have been kind of hard hit with the rainfall already this spring. Just something to know as we head into Thursday, Friday, and the weekend. Scattered rain chances are still with us for the weekend forecast, by the way. It's not going to be a washout on Saturday and Sunday, but I think we'll be holding on to some scattered chances across the Ozarks, even though temperatures do remain near normal with highs in the upper 70s and low 80s each and every day. I'm going 80 degrees today in the Springfield area. I think the best chance for rain today is going to be back southwest of the Springfield area and to some of our northwest Arkansas counties. As we get into Friday, a better chance for rain exists, probably about a 50% chance for some scattered showers and storms. That'll hold our temperature down a little bit. Talking about highs in the upper 70s on Friday. We're still in the upper 70s for highs on Saturday. Then we should jump back into the low 80s by Sunday. About a 30% chance for some scattered rain and storm activity both Saturday and Sunday as we head into the weekend forecast. Around the country, what's making headlines, it's more active weather for the midsection of the country. We'll probably hear about some of that severe weather in the national news headlines as we head into this evening. Then the heat, it's continuing for portions of South Texas and much of Florida. It's also starting to build in some of the valleys out in California. It's getting to be summertime and uh, the desert heat is about to kick it up a notch for our friends out west. We are also experiencing some cooler than average temperatures for the plains and the eastern United States. So while some are suffering through the heat, others are getting a nice little break. All right, it's time for the Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather Brain Twister Trivia question for the day. Here's the question that I left you with yesterday. Vacuum cleaners. What modern cleaning machine used to be brought to your home pulled by horses? Can you believe it is B, the vacuum cleaner? 
uh, of all the options, the options, by the way, I was so excited to tell you the answer. I uh, just jumped right into it there. The options were a dishwasher, a vacuum cleaner, or a clothes dryer. If you guessed B, vacuum cleaner on our website at aroundtheozarks.com, congrats. You are now entered to win the $20 gift card to Scooter's Coffee that we give away every single day. But yes, did you know vacuum cleaners were originally pulled by horses uh, to clean buildings? Apparently, it took six people to operate said vacuum machine too. When I first heard this, I was like, well, doesn't that defeat the purpose to bring in um, some horses to then clean up carpet? But this is how it worked. It was this big, huge machine that would be brought uh, by horses on a pedestal. They would park outside of the building and then use a long hose to actually clean whatever building that uh, was going to be cleaned. This was first invented in Great Britain, 1902. The horse-drawn central vacuum would park outside of these large buildings. It was gas-powered, so it needed this exterior engine. Um, That's what was used to create the suction necessary to clean the inside of the buildings. A bunch of men would use a long hose to then go clean the building, and then the horses would drag the machine away. Now, you know, I'm glad they are um, like handheld and most of them don't even have cords nowadays. So things have gotten easier. We don't need a horse to drop, but I bet that that was a powerful machine. Um, Yeah, now you know, vacuum cleaners. I wonder if now that's why they're called hoovers because of the hooves. No, I don't know. Maybe just a theory. B, vacuum cleaner, the answer. Here's your question that I'll leave you with for tomorrow. Which U.S. president is the only U.S. president to have served as a national park ranger? Do you think it was A, Herbert Hoover, B, Jimmy Carter, C, Gerald Ford, or D, Theodore Roosevelt? I will have the answer for you. That's tomorrow morning at Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather. If you want to submit your guests to win that $20 gift card to Scooters, head on over to the website. It's aroundtheozarks.com. Thanks so much to Scooters and to Rescue Towing for sponsoring Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather. I hope you have a fantastic day. Enjoy the dry time before the better rain chance arrives tonight. High temperature of 80 degrees and a southeast wind gusting to 20 today. Better rain chances arrive for us overnight and into Friday and Saturday. Have a great one.